Well, March is National Kidney Month, and nearly one million Americans suffer from chronic kidney disease. In fact, in Michigan, it's a burden for one in seven adults, many on dialysis and waiting on a kidney transplant. But tonight, hope is on the horizon with a new study that may stop the effects of one type of kidney disease that is passed down from generation to generation. Nicole Wilson is a healthcare hero, a registered nurse with Ascension, Michigan, who fights for the lives of strangers. But Nicole is not just fighting at the bedside of patients. She's fighting for the future of her 12 year old daughter. You see, at 23, Nicole was diagnosed with polycystic kidney disease. She is one of 500,000 Americans suffering with this type of disease. It is very hereditary in my family. My mother had it. Um, she's no longer with us. My her mother had it. Um, I have an uncle ha that has it. I have a few cousins that have it as well. The first sign a person has polycystic kidney disease is high blood pressure and then cysts grow on your kidneys. The genes for this disease are passed down from generation to generation. I can trace it back in my family history going back to the 18 and 1700s. Nicole says any of her children would have a 50% chance of having it. So she has volunteered for several studies, including one for eight years that produced the first and only FDA approved medication to treat polycystic kidney disease. It doesn't stop the disease, but it slows the progression of the disease. So that will hopefully keep me off of ending up on dialysis and needing a transplant a little longer. Now Nicole has volunteered for the most recent study just in phase one with nephrologist and chief medical officer with Ascension Michigan, Dr. Keith Belovich. It's the first study of its kind in North America. Would you call this groundbreaking? Certainly it's unique in its approach. We have tried a variety of different medications to try and stop or halt the disease in progression and we've never been successful up till now. Eight study participants, including Nicole, get an injection of the medication daily and must remain in the clinic for 12 hours at a time for the monitoring of side effects and to see how well the drug is working. In the end result, of course, is to shrink these cysts and hopefully prevent the kidney disease from getting worse. Dr. Belovich says other therapies have not been able to do this. He says this is a common genetic disease with one in 400 adults having the predisposition for forming these cysts. The cysts almost take up the whole space of the kidney, resulting in end-stage kidney failure and now requiring dialysis or a kidney transplant. In Michigan, 2,000 people are waiting for a kidney transplant and 15,000 are on dialysis. Dr. Belovich says it's vital to know your family history and keeping your blood pressure under control. If you have a family history of the disease, we might be able to know whether you uh, are going to get it in or if you do, we can halt it very early in its course. There is no timetable as to when this study will be complete, but for Nicole, it's not about the present, but about making much needed medical progress for future generations. This has been such a plague on my family personally. I'm on a mission to get this to stop. Only 5% of people with polycystic kidney disease end up with end-stage renal disease. But if this therapy could stop the disease, it would transform lives and truly be groundbreaking.